These are my tools for making great PS2 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Pride of Phoenix Media. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Open PS2 Loader. So I made this video because maybe you're new to Free McBoot. Maybe you installed Free McBoot and you just added OPL. Or maybe you got a memory card from online or you got it from me or whoever and you don't really know how to use the program. So this is like a crash course on how to use the program and some of the options that I use particularly so then you can get up and running as fast as possible and as easy as possible. One thing I do want to note is this assumes that you know how to install games to your USB device, whether that is a USB uh, flash drive. Um, so like for example, here's my flash drive connected to my PS2. Or maybe you have like an external hard drive that is either USB powered or externally powered by the wall ward. Either way, both solutions work great. USB drive, flash drive, or the USB hard drive. So, how do you use the program? If you press start, you cannot break anything in this program. So go ahead, go crazy with it. You cannot break your memory card. You cannot break the OPL program. So just go ahead and just have fun and just play around with the settings. But here are the settings that I have for my memory card if you guys are curious. So in my particular case, disable debug colors, I have this on. a lot. And just to mention, a lot of default options are okay for OPL, but you can go ahead and play around with it as you see fit. I don't really mess around with IGR paths, which is in-game reset. So let's say if you were playing a game in OPL and you do the in-game reset command, which is the top four buttons here, and select and start at the same time, that resets your game to whatever program you have a set here. So I don't have it set to anything. I just wanted to go back to the browser. And then these other settings, I don't really play, play around too much with those. Check USB game fragmentation. I have that to currently uh, off, but you can have it as on too. Um, toggle it depending on how your game works. And if it freezes, maybe turn it off and see if that helps. USB prefix path, Ethernet prefix path. I don't really play around with these too much. And this one, I don't play around with that as well. Now, I have a link in the video description that has more detail about the OPL program if you, want, if you want to learn more about these settings. And then these over here, I like to put them to manual. The reason I do that is so that I have more control. But if you want to, let's say, turn to auto or turn it to off, you can certainly do that. So what that means is you turn on OPL, and let's say you want your USB device to automatically be detected and run, you put it to auto. Or maybe you don't do USB, so you have it to off, so it doesn't show in the main menu. I like to put it to manual for everything. Default menu, when you turn on OPL, what menu do you want to go to first? You want to go to USB games, Ethernet, or hard drive games, so I just have it as USB. And then go back to OK. Display settings, these are just different settings related to display. I won't go too much into detail here, so go ahead and just play around with it. A lot of it is self-explanatory. Network config, this is where if you have your PS2 connected to your network or to your computer, through a router or maybe through a crossover cable, here are all the different settings you want to mess around with related to the network. So I have a dedicated video tutorial talking about that kind of stuff. So this is the, the menu that you want to play around with if you want to play games off the, use, off the network for the fastest experience and performance, basically. Network update, I don't play around with this, but basically from what I understand, it's a way for your PS2 when connected to the internet to download particular configuration files for your game to make sure that it works properly. Cool feature, haven't used it before, but go ahead and play around with it if that's something that you want to do. And then now I'm going to save changes. Now, if I go back to the main menu by pressing circle, we see that we go to USB games, Ethernet games, hard drive games, application. So if I press X right now, I have my USB thumb drive already connected to my PS2. Momentarily, it will show my list of games. I only have one game installed, which is this Berserk game that I'm just playing around with. So assuming that your games are installed properly, your list of games will show here. Let's say you're doing Ethernet. So you press X here, I'm gonna press X. It's, an, it's gonna show nothing because I don't have a Ethernet cord connected. I'm not on the network, but if you we're connected to the network and your games are shared properly, you'll see your list of games here. If you have a fat PS2, internal hard drive with a network adapter, and you have your games installed properly, your games will show here. If you have the apps a tab here, you can map programs in your emulators or pop starter or whatever inside here. So you can run open PS2 loader and just have one concise program to do everything that you want. And that's how that works. I don't really use apps that much. I'm more of a USB or Ethernet or hard drive type kind of guy. So let's go ahead, run the game. Uh, I 
I forgot to mention, if you press triangle on your game instead of pressing X, you'll have another menu that comes up with all these different modes and virtual memory cards. So if your game is not working, even after you defrag your USB device, maybe play around with the different modes and see if you can get it working. I'll have a link to the master OPL forum. So if you guys have questions or, or want to read up on documentation, that's where you can go and learn from the best, basically, and from the developers as well. So here's my PS2. It's currently loading the game from USB thumb drive. For best performance, I recommend internal hard drive for fat PS2 users, or maybe consider Ethernet um, as another option. Or maybe ESR, you have a slim PS2 and your ESR is working properly. So we're loading the game. I don't have a save game file here, so I'm just going to mess around and just get into the game as quick as possible. Show you that, yes, this does work. In terms of OPL game compatibility, there are lists online. But for the most part, a lot of different games work, at least in my particular game library. So your results may vary, so go ahead, rip your game, install it to your USB device and or network, for example, and just play with your... PS2 and see if it works. So let's keep on going. So basically what I want to show is that, you know, the OPL program is a simple program. Uh, don't be scared of it. Don't be afraid to push buttons around. It's very logical. There's a help menu in the bottom right hand corner that tells you what button does what. So you should not be confused when using the program. And uh, hopefully this video helps your understanding of the program as well. So if I press start here, I'm going to say new game. And all I'm going to do is just get into the main game movie just to show you the, you guys a little bit of the performance of the USB. Some of the games will vary. Some games, in-game movie sequences may work fine and not lag. And other games, they may lag, like God of War 1 or 2. So in those cases, you may want to consider playing from Ethernet or maybe an internal hard drive. Okay, so it's loading from the USB. So here's, I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit. I was stuttering a little bit there. Let me go to the next movie. Press X. Uh, start, actually. And I actually took the, uh, the Japanese version of this game and patched it to English. So if you guys are curious about that, let me know. I might make a video tutorial about that in the future. So that is today's video game tutorial on how to use OPL, Open PS2 Loader. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.